And Tudor, as you know, we've been keeping an eye on the southern border, maybe closer than most networks, because we've been sending our own Ben Burkwam down there, and he's been doing just incredible work that we've been sharing with everybody here on America's Voice Live. Yeah, he's been all over the border. We have Ben Burkwam now down there in Calexico, California. Ben, what's happening down there at the border? You're so far away from us. Hey, guys. Well, I just wanted to give you a scale of the, the, the size of this wall, the, the new wall President Trump uh, erected and the last administration erected. Uh, it, most places, it's 30 feet tall. This one, it feels like it's about 40 feet tall. I mean, you see, I'm 6'2", and I look like a little dot, but I actually backed up here to show you two other things as well. Uh, the, the tires you see on the ground to my left, those are what Border Patrol used to scrape the ground to try to uh, show footprints when people that, if you can imagine it, people still climb this. It's obviously you can't do a thousand people at a time, but they still do. And when they do, they want to see those footprints. Well, it's funny because I found this and I'm going to get a little closer so you can see it. Uh, this was a homemade rake that I found in Yuma, Arizona that illegal aliens used to then hide their footprints. So as Border Patrol is trying to uncover them, they're behind, running behind them. We've seen the carpet shoes. This is the first time I've seen a homemade rake that was down there. Uh, but it is, it's, it's wild. It's the Wild West. And, and really the important part about this is walls only work if we have the policies in place in America to secure the border. And right now we don't have those. When uh, Joe Biden and, uh, and uh, this regime uh, ended the Remain in Mexico policy, what that did was say, these walls are irrelevant now. All you have to do is find an opening in them. You come over to America and then you just disappear into our country. And I have video footage uh, from Yuma, over 10 different groups coming across when we were there just the last two days. It's out of control. But I also had an opportunity to speak with Sheriff Wilmot of Yuma County. Uh, and this is what he, he we, we talked about a couple things. First, I wanna have, play the clip uh, about uh, what he said in regards to COVID and the hypocrisy of the Democrats, if we can play that. How is it that you, you've got 26 plus countries that are locked down, you've got 14 days that you have to self-isolate, but yet if an individual comes across the border illegally and enters our country, you're gonna give them a pass within 71 hours to get on a bus, a train or a plane to travel to the interior of the United States with no COVID test. Now, they say they're doing medical screening, but it's a play on words when they say they're doing that. Everybody does a medical screening. Sheriffs know that. We do it in our jails each and every day. That's taking their temperature and then checking to see if they have any obvious medical conditions and then asking them questions. That's a medical screen. And that's what Border Patrol is only able to do with the resources that they have. When Border Patrol is limited on the amount of people that they can have in their facility because of COVID restrictions and ICE cannot come pick them up, Border Patrol has no choice but to release them into society without a COVID test. And you guys were just playing that clip uh, from uh, Joe Biden's speech last night about how we have to, we, we can't celebrate yet that there might be more lockdowns in America. And I'm sitting there hitting my head against that wall behind me thinking, well, Joe, if you want to stop COVID, maybe we should secure that border and stop letting tens of thousands of illegals, many of them bringing COVID and tuberculosis and yellow fever across. It is, at, it's, 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 it's insane. It is absolutely insane. Uh, I, the, the real point though, and people, for people to understand this, what behind, what's behind me, the people that control what's on the other side of that border, is the, it's the cartels. And uh, Sheriff Wilmot had a comment about that as well. This is a catastrophic crisis that has been created within the last two months because an executive order was issued by the President of the United States for MPP, which is a whole different ballgame. But that just allowed the cartels to further exploit the whole situation. And every bit of what we're seeing down here along the border is controlled and orchestrated intentionally by the cartels in Mexico. There is no doubt about it. Each one of those individuals that you're filming coming across are paying the cartels $6,000 to be smuggled across where the cartels dictate they go. That takes our Border Patrol troops off of the front line and process it. So the cartels can now get their illegal narcotics smuggled into our country and distributed throughout the United States. Just this fiscal year, they've already intercepted close to 5,000 pounds of fentanyl. 
We are all addressing opioid addiction and abuse in every one of our cities and counties across the United States, and people are dying. But yet, Border Patrol has now been turned into by this administration, the Uber for the cartels, to get to where they need to go in the United States. And I think that point, uh, that line right there, Border Patrol has been turned in by this administration to Uber for the cartels, that says it all, Stephen Tudor.